Hello and welcome to Charters Local Edition. I'm your host, Lori Farkas. We're here in Cheyenne, Wyoming today talking to lawmakers about issues that are important for you. And joining us now is Senator Stephan Pappas. Thank you so much for being here. Certainly welcome. We really appreciate it. Now, um, I know your task has been big this legislative session. Um, one of the major issues is education and you're on that education committee and uh, you've really been working hard on this issue. Tell me a little bit about uh, the white paper that kind of preceded the legislature and started all of this rolling? Well, that was a, um, a big task that came out actually very late mm -hmm. in the um, Joint Education Committee last year. Uh, in, fa in fact, uh, 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 during the uh, December meeting was when the task force was, mm -hmm. was formed and I, I happened to be on the task force. Um, the task force, I thought, did a lot of good work very quickly in trying to um, uh, put together a list of possible solutions to get us uh, out of our f fiscal crisis when it comes to school funding. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the things that were put on there, everything was brainstormed and, and a lot of things were put on the list and not all things on the list are, are probably going to be good policy. Right. So, um, uh, but they're out there for discussion. We put it out uh, for people to comment on. We got some 600 comments That's great. Uh, from the public and so that was really good. And I think it, uh, of course, the, the, the uh, uh, task the um, uh, subcommittee mm -hmm. uh, w ended on December 31st, mm -hmm. but it gave the new House and Senate committees some good starting points. Right, and rather so than that's just where, jumping in. That's where the omnibus bills mm -hmm. got their genesis. Mm -hmm. so. Now, this fiscal crisis is not being overinflated by any stretch of the imagination, correct? It is a very serious problem. Absolutely not. Um, if you look at what we've spent for uh, school funding, um, we are spending savings right now. Um, and that's what's getting us through this biennium. And that's not going to last forever. And, uh, if you look at all the different savings uh, uh, accounts that we've, we've been uh, 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 rating to, to spend to the foundation. Pay, pay, mm -hmm. for, pay for education, including the LISRA, the yeah. Legislative uh, Stabilization Reserve Account, we're probably in this biennium going to have spent one over maybe $1.5 billion. And that's and just to keep the lights on. And people don't understand that we are saving spendings, mm -hmm. or, or spending savings. Mm -hmm. and, and going into the next biennium, we're going to be short um, $400 million a year. Mm -hmm. And so that has to either be pulled out of savings, come out of budget cuts mm -hmm. or some kind of revenue enhancement mm -hmm. or all three. And perhaps taxes. Well, that's revenue enhancements, mm -hmm, right. yes. I know. We never like <laughs> to say the T word, well, you <laughs> it's, know, it's, but it's uh, a reality. You know, people in Wyoming uh, don't pay a lot of taxes mm -hmm. as it is. You yeah. know, we've, in, 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 in the um, uh, immediate past, well, I, actually more than just the immediate past, but we've relied on our mineral severance taxes to, to pay for a lot of things that you and I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and those those They're incomes gone. are not there anymore. Right. So there's only two alternatives: either you reduce services, mm -hmm. or you come up with additional taxes. One or the other. You can't have them, can't have your cake and eat it too. Well, and the way our constitution is set up, we we have to fund the schools. That's correct. Um, uh, coming out of all the Campbell decisions, you know the uh, the issue has been that uh, we have to provide for that basket of goods. Uh, and the court, the court has determined what that, you know, uh, whether we have met that basket of goods or not. And, you know, so far we've done, done pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know whether we'll be able to sustain that with the funds that we have. Right. Well, I know a lot of very good work and a very good minds are yeah. working on the issue. Um, I also want to talk to you about a couple of other issues that have been highly publicized, um, and one of those is the um, some of the social issues, mm -hmm. um, Senate File um, 153 and House Bill 135. Could you talk a little bit about those because the public has really weighed in on these? Yeah, the um, you know a um, lot of social issues come up every year. Um, uh, it's always a dilemma especially in a very conservative state like we are. Yeah. Um, I tend to um, be a person who is um, uh, one that, that believes that all people have the rights to pursue their life any way they want. Uh, 
We certainly don't want people to impose their their will on um, uh, other people, but also we can't discriminate. Mm -hmm. And so um, I don't know. I you know uh, when well, I've gotten a lot of email on 135. Um, and of course, it hasn't come to the Senate side. I'm not mm -hmm. sure it will. Um, but uh, uh, you know, I, I'm not I'm not too comfortable how that bill is structured at this this, this time. Mm -hmm. Um, if it does make it to the Senate, I'll listen to the floor debate and uh, decide how I'm going to vote. But, um, I, I have issues with uh, with the discrimination issue, uh, problems that we that we continually face in the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your insight on yeah. all of these topics, and we appreciate yeah. you joining us. Oh, today. thanks. Thank you so appreciate much. It. Nice yeah, to see you. Absolutely, you too. Yeah. And we've been talking with Senator Stephen Pappas, and you have been watching Charters Local Edition. We'll see you next time.